Welcome back. This is Mr. Hassan's Math Channel. I'm now answering question number six from the January 2023 Pure Mathematics P4 International A Level at Excel exam. And this question here is all about um, vectors. It says relative to a fixed origin O, the point O, the point A has position vector 2i minus 3j plus 5k. The point B has position vector 8i plus 3j minus 7k. The line L passes through A and B. So you've got to find, first of all, the vector A to B and then a vector equation for the line. So first of all, if this is our origin O and this is the point A and this is the point B. Okay, of course, we can't draw them accurately because it's like a three dimensional diagram, which is very difficult to draw in a two dimensional space. So we'll call this OA. This is the this is the point where A is and this is the point where B is. Okay, so this is... Um, so when it says the position vector of a the, the word position vector means in relation to the origin it means the vector from o to a so basically what they're saying here is that the vector from o to a is 2 minus 3 and 5 2 i minus 3 j and, and 5 k i like to write them in column vector form for my calculations and the position vector means b means of the the vector o to b which is 8i plus 3j minus 7k. So this is O to A and this is O to B. All right, and they're asking us to, they're telling us the line L passes through A and B. So there's a line L that passes through the points A and B. Okay, so this is the line L, you could say. Passing through the points A and B. All right, so this is the line L. Now, they're asking us to find the vector from A to B. The vector from A to B. And we can see from this diagram, if you want to go from A to B, we've got to go from A to O, and then from O to B. From A to B, from o to A to O, then O to B. And we know A to O is like minus O A. So this is like saying O to B minus O to A. Okay, it's minus O A plus O B. All right, so when you want to find the vector A to B, you have to go from a to the origin and then from the origin to b so it's like doing so we can say the vector from a to b this is this is um a part one here we're answering is equal to o to b minus minus o to a which is these two subtracted so is the first one would be o to b so eight three minus seven take away two negative three and five and when you take them away you get eight minus two which is six and 3 minus minus 3, which is also 6, and minus 7 minus 5, which is negative 12. So therefore, we can say the vector from o, from A to B, in the form that they're asking us, it's always better to put it in the form they ask us, the vector from A to B is 6i plus 6j minus 12k. Okay, there's the answer to part 1. And part 2 says, find a vector equation for the line L. Now the vector equation of a line R is given by a point on the line, any point on the line, plus a scalar parameter times the direction of the line. Okay, so if we have any point on this line, any point on this line, so we could we know two points. I could choose A or B. I need the position vector of that point. So I could use two minus three five plus some parameter which we can call lambda or mu or s or t or whatever times the direction of the line and the direction of the line could be in the direction a b or b a it doesn't matter okay it could be in any of those directions so one possible answer for the uh, vector equation of the line could be o to a which is 2 minus 3 5 that takes you to the line plus some scalar parameter like lambda for example times the direction of the line which is what we found here 6 6 minus 12. Okay, I could also write 8, 3 minus 7 here, and the same thing here. Or I could write 2 minus 3, 5, and I could put here, for example, um, minus 6, minus 6, and plus 12. Or I could take this 6, 6 minus 12, and I can rewrite this as I can say the common factor here is 6. So I can say 6 times 1, 1 minus 2. And I could write this as r equals 2 minus 3, 5 plus some scalar parameter mu lambda whatever i want to call it one one and negative two okay because 
you know, that's parallel to this line. All right, so there's many, many different ways I could write the answer for the vector equation of the line. All right, many ways I could write it. Okay, I could write it even the other way around. Um, as I said, I could put OB here, 8, 3, minus 7 as a position vector of the point. So there's many ways of writing the answer to that. Okay, so the vector equation of the line doesn't have one particular answer. You have to see uh, in the mark scheme, if you've done it a different way, if you've chosen this point, so it would always be either A or B, because we know those two points on the line. So those would be the two things that could possibly have here. But here you could have a variety of things as long as they are some multiple of this vector here, whether they're the same direction or opposite direction, or, you know, normally you would write it in this form, I guess, where you have factorized, taking out the common factor. Um, and written in this form, but both or any of these ways are perfectly fine. So even if you wrote, for example, R equals, and we choose OB, 8, 3, minus 7, we could do that if we wanted to, 8, 3, minus 7, plus, you know, we can say S times some scalar parameter, what happened there, the pen disappeared, S times uh, 1, 1, minus 2, or we could put minus, minus 1, minus 1, minus 1, plus 2, it doesn't matter. Okay, so... There's plenty of forms that we can use as long as this is a position vector of a point on the line and this is something that is parallel to the direction of the line. Right, so multiple of, okay, the vector which is parallel to the line. Okay, so there's the answer to this question 6a. Now we're going to go on to 6b. Okay, so 6b, it says the point C has position vector 3, 1, 5, 3i plus 5j plus 2k. So O to C is 3 five two the point p lies on line on the let l okay so we got our line l okay and cp is perpendicular to l so we know this is a line l and we have the equation of this line in various forms and the point c is somewhere over here okay let's see this is o so we know o to c is this vector that we're given okay O to C is the vector that we're given, 3, 5, 2. Okay, it says CP is perpendicular to L. So P is a point on, on the line L. So let's say the point P is over here. Okay, and they told us that CP is perpendicular to the line L. So P is at that point such that CP is a right angle. Find the position vector of the point P. So we've got to find the vector from O to P, basically. That's what we've got to find. We've got to find this vector O to P. So let's call the P coordinates of P X, Y, Z. So its position vector will be x, i plus y, j plus z, k. Right, so that's what we have to find, what this vector is, o to p. Right, now we know that the line L, it has an equation. Um, it could be any of these. So I'll just write down in this form here, say 2 minus 3, 5, and 1, 1 minus 2. So 2 minus 3, 5 plus lambda times 1, 1, minus 2. Just make sure that's correct. Lambda mu, it doesn't matter what parameter we call it, but that's fine. So that's, a, that's, a, that's the equation of line L. Now we know that P lies on line L. Okay, so P is on line L. Okay, so therefore what we can say is there's going to be a value of lambda here that takes you from... O to P. There will be a position vector of P, okay, which is going to satisfy this equation. So we can say that 2 minus 3, 5 plus lambda times 1, 1 minus 2 is equal to the coordinates of P, which are x, y, and z. Now from this we can form one equation, all right, or well, three equations in fact. We can say that from this we can say that 2 plus lambda equals x. So 2 plus lambda equals x. We can also say minus 3 plus lambda equals y. And we can also say 5 minus 2 lambda equals z. So those are like three equations we formed from this fact. So that's one fact that we know. The second fact we know is that the line from C to P is perpendicular to the line L. Okay, so first of all, let's find out what the vector from C to P is. C to P is going to be C to O plus O to P. So it's going to be like OP minus OC, right? 
So OP is X, Y, Z. So you're going to have X, Y, Z minus OC, which is 3, 5, 2. Okay, that's what we were given here. 3, 5, 2. Right, so that gives us the vector X minus 3, Y minus 5, and Z minus 2. Okay, so that's the vector from C to P. So if they're perpendicular, I can say that the dot product of C to P, okay, with the direction of, of line L, okay, with the direction of line L is going to give us 0 because they're perpendicular. Okay, dot product of perpendicular vectors are 0. Okay, as they are perpendicular, right? So what we can do now is we can say, okay, the dot product of the direction of L, which is 1, 1, minus 2. So we say 1, 1, minus 2, dot product with the vector C to P, which is X minus 3, and Y minus 5, and Z minus 2, is equal to 0. When two vectors are perpendicular, their dot product is 0. And we have to deal with what? In this, we don't care about the position vector, we care about its direction. The direction tells us, this part tells us about in which direction it's going, and that will determine whether it's perpendicular or not to this line. So we know it's perpendicular, so we use the fact that that is a dot product with CP is going to give us 0. So from here, we can form an equation with x, y, and z in it. So we can say 1 times x minus 3, which is x minus 3, plus 1 times y minus 5, which is y minus 5, plus minus 2 times z minus 2, so you have minus 2 times z minus 2, and that's equal to 0. Okay, so now, if we just expand this a little bit, we have x minus 3 plus y minus z minus 2z plus 4 equals 0. Let me just tidy this up a bit because it looks a bit messy. That's minus 2 times. Okay, so now we have x plus y minus 2z. Okay, and here we have minus 3 plus 4, which is um, 1. So that will become equal to minus 1, right? So, actually, that's supposed to say y minus, yeah. x plus y minus 5. Sorry about that. Let me just, sorry about that. I wrote something wrong. You have to be very careful here. <laughs> These vector questions, you make a little mistake, it messes everything up. So we have x plus y, okay, and I'm going to have um, minus 2z, all right, and then I'm going to have my minus 3 and my minus 5 and my plus 4, okay, I'm just trying to um, deal with the letters separately, so x plus y minus 2z, those are the, the letters, we have minus 3, minus 5, and plus 4, okay, so I have x plus y minus 2z, this is going to give you minus 8 plus 4, which is minus 4. So when you add that to both sides, you're going to get 4, right? So x plus y minus 2z equals 4. So this is an equation we formed from the fact that they are perpendicular to each other. So now what I can do is I can use these equations here. I know x equals 2 plus lambda. So I can replace the x with 2 plus lambda. So I have 2 plus lambda plus, and I know y is minus 3 plus lambda. So instead of y, I can put minus 3 plus lambda. Okay, and instead of z, I know z is 5 minus 2 lambda. So I have minus 2 times 5 minus 2 lambda, and all that equals 4. Now I have an equation with lambda in it, so I can work out the value of lambda for which we, you know, the value of lambda, and that lambda the value of lambda will tell us exactly uh, you know, when I put that in here, it will tell us what x, y, and z are, which is what we're trying to find, right? So now I have 2 plus lambda and minus 3 plus lambda. That's minus 3 plus lambda and minus 10 plus 4 lambda is equal to 4. So you have lambda plus lambda plus 4 lambda, that's 6 lambda. We have 2 minus 3 minus 10 that's going to be uh, minus 11, right? 2 minus 3 is minus 1, minus 1 minus that's minus 11 is equal to 4. We can add 11 to both sides, so we have 6 lambda equals 4 plus 11, which is 15. So lambda equals 15 divided by 6. 3 goes into both of those, so we have 5 over 2. So lambda equals 5 over 2. 
So that's the value of lambda. So now we can work out what x, y, and z are. So we know that x is 2 plus lambda. And we know that y is equal to minus 3 plus lambda. And we know z is equal to um, z is equal to uh, 5 minus 2 lambda. 5 minus 2 lambda. So we have 2 plus 5 over 2, which gives us, that's 4 over 2 plus, that's 9 over 2. And for y, we have minus 3 plus 5 over 2. So that's minus 6 over 2 plus 5 over 2. That's a minus 1 over 2. All right. And then we got 5 minus 2 lambda. So you have 5 minus 5. Because 2 times 5 over 2 is 5. So it's going to be 0. So our, the, you can say that the, uh, the vector from O to our point, which is P, Okay, the vector from O to P, which we have to find, is equal to um, for 9 over 2 and minus a half and 0. This is the position vector of P. And then technically, the best way to write the answer would be to put OP equals 9 over 2i minus 1 over 2j. Right, because um, they gave everything in ij form. And we should do the same. Of course, we don't have to put zero, okay? So really, that would be the mo more complete way of writing the answer. Although, if you wrote the answer in this format, it would perfectly, it would be perfectly fine. But just, you know, the format of the question and the answer should be matching. So it's better to write this really as your final answer. Okay, so that's a little side point there. Use the fact that we have two bits of information about the point P. One of them is it lies on the line L. So we used the fact that there's going to be a value of lambda for which this equation will be true, from which we can make these three equations for x, y, and z. And then we use the fact that CP is perpendicular to the line L. So we found an expression for CP in terms of x, y, and z from C to P. And then we did the dot product of that with the direction of line L Okay, and we know that the dot product of vectors which are perpendicular is zero, and that gave us an equation linking x, y, and z together. And then I could substitute, you know, what we know from here, okay, in terms of what x is and y is and what z is in terms of lambda. And we had the equation lambda, which told us the value of lambda, which pinpoints where O to P is. Okay, so when we substitute the value of lambda, okay, and so you could have just put it into this equation here, put lambda in here, we've got the same answer be 2 plus uh, 5 over 2 and that would be minus 3 plus 5 over 2 as we got and 5 plus um, 5 over 2 times minus 2 okay which gave us the answer All right so there we have our answer o to p i hope that was clear um, other questions from this particular paper can be found in the playlist that will be appearing in this region over here other questions from the um the topic of vectors from P4 can be found in the playlist in this region over here. You can subscribe to my channel by clicking on this link and you can watch a video which takes you to material that might be useful for you in, um, you know, whatever you're trying to find. You can find it quickly by looking at this video. It tells you how to navigate through my channel. Thank you for watching and see you soon.